Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to solder the brushes onto the starter motor. Now most starter motors have four brushes, two negatives and two positives. Negatives are always situated at the brush box where it's getting ground from the top there. And that's our two negatives there, this one and this one. And two positives. Positive brushes are at the ends of the field coils which are the part of the body of the starter. And as you can see this starter is just a common starter with the field coils um, that's why the brushes are coming out out of the body of the starter. Now there's other type of starters. Now these starters as you can see don't have brushes coming out of them for a simple reason because there's no field coils in them there's only magnets which do the same job. Now for starter like that you need a separate brush box. As you can see we have a brush box here out of the starter with the magnets now, two negative brushes are fused into the ground part and two positive brushes are fused onto the piece which goes on top of this. On now, top today of the I'm going to show you how to solder the brushes on, on this, this particular starter. It doesn't really dif make any difference if it's this one, if it's this one or the other one. Um, it's, the, it's the same kind of a job you're doing. Now we start off with cutting off the old brush, the old negative brush. Get the side cutters and snap it, that's it. Now what we have to do now is we have to clean up the surface where the brush is going to be soldered. We can use a um, grinding stone uh, file or just simply scrape it off with a screwdriver long as it's nice and shiny, that's what we want. Now as you can see this surface is nice and clean now. We can move on and put a bit of a solder on it. Now we have our soldering iron nice and hot, put the soldering iron onto the brush box, tiny bit of solder, it will warm up faster now as soon as the piece get hot you'll see the solder moving just put a tiny bit extra just to cover it if there's any extra bit that you put on which isn't necessary just take it off and this connection is ready for soldering the brush onto it now before we are going to solder the brush onto the connection we have to do the same thing with the brush just put a drop of solder at the end here the end which is going to be soldered into it the important thing is to get the pliers and squeeze them just behind the point when you are go where you are going to be soldering otherwise the solder will run on the link and the link will go rock solid and the brush wouldn't be able to move now we use the same technique just put the solder line onto the brush just wait a second for the temperature to transfer to the brush and just put a tiny drop of the solder onto it Wait for a second. And now that's it. it. Job done. Because we put some solder on the brush box and on the brush before, it's going to be it's going to make it easier for us to solder the brush onto the brush box now. Just heat up the brush box until the point you see the solder moving a bit. And when that happens, just stick down your brush and put the iron onto the brush. Now, as you can see, our brush is soldered onto the connection there. It's nice and solid, single end. It's flexible as well. Job well, well done. Same technique would apply to changing brushes in here. Just cut off the brush, clean up the connection, bit of solder here, bit of the solder on the new brush, join them. Job done. And simple as that, you can do the same with the brush boxes of this type, where you don't have the coils, where you just have four brushes on the brush boxes. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.